Do you guys want to get married? The marriage Oh, question. wow. We're jumping right into that one, yeah. huh? Uh, wow. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a very special episode, very romantic episode of Ordinary Adventures. I couldn't even say it with a straight face. I'm sorry. <laughs> Today, we're going to be answering one of the questions that you guys ask the most, and that is, how did we meet? How did we start dating? We'll answer the kid question, the marriage question. We actually pulled you guys and asked, what did you want to know? And we're going to answer as many questions as we possibly can. Yeah. So how about you come along with us on this romantic Valentine's Day adventure? This video is sponsored by Soundcore Life Q30 headphones. More on that later. Right now, let's get into the story. Let's get into how did we meet? Oh, I was gonna say, let's get into the juicy details. Yeah, so where do we start? Where how, does this begin? How did we meet, Peter? Do you remember? It's been so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we met on a dating site. We met on OkCupid. We did. Which I think was like a very hipster dating site at the time. Does that even still exist anymore? Or is it all about like Bumble? People are just swiping and stuff like that, <laughs> or maybe they're not swiping. I don't know what they're doing, <laughs> but OkCupid used to be this dating site, which I liked it because you answered a bunch of questions and then you got to see the percentage that you matched with someone else. And it was like fun questions. It wasn't like eHarmony, you know? Yeah. It wasn't like serious questions or it kind of was, but it, it was, was more mix. playful yeah. than eHarmony. I enjoyed that too, but to be honest, I didn't really take my profile that seriously. <laughs> I had a bunch of silly photos, you know, me with a stormtrooper, me with like, you know, an effect on my face, like a filter or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I think that was the thing that attracted me to your profile because a lot of the people I was looking at on there were like all that like one, that one photo, you know the photo where it like is from like this angle and is like, yeah. you know, the perfect whatever, trying to make themselves look cool at some kind of like party or whatever. And your photo, like you had a photo with a stormtrooper and there's a photo with, I could tell, even though it was like a close up of you, but you were on the tram going to Disneyland. I was, I was, oh wow. Yeah. And and I, I think, think I, I had the photo of like me and the Muppets because like that was like course. the one photo I was like most proud of. I remember specifically one of the questions, like there was a question like, what are you doing on a Friday night? And her answer was like, I don't know, probably watching Shark Tank. I mean, I was like, we're, we're made for each other. What else is anyone ever doing on a Friday night? Let's be <laughs> honest. Like, I don't like those fake answers saying that you're doing something because we all know you're sitting at home watching Shark Tank. Yeah. <laughs> I think I had been on there for a week or so and my interaction <laughs> I don't know we're, we're not really that great like it felt like every person I was talking to was like a gigantic compromise I think I was on there maybe for like a month but it was one of those things where I would often delete the app I don't think I delete my profile but I would just like de physically delete the app off my phone yeah. because it became so frustrating and it just made me like uncomfortable <laughs> and I just I don't know it was like it, it would happen at least like five times before I yeah I met Peter. <laughs> but you're a woman on one of these apps, so yeah. pe people must be contacting you. Like, I feel like they women were. get like yeah. 30 messages for every one message a guy gets. Yeah, they were, but I wasn't really like entertaining any <laughs> offers, <laughs> if you will. So what made you and uh, like respond to me? What was what was it about my, my profile? I don't know. Didn't I message you first? I feel like I messaged you first. We should know this answer and we don't. The thing is I wanted to go back and look, but like I deleted my account. I liked you. You were, you were like me. We had a lot of, you know, things in common, a lot of nerdy things. Obviously the Disneyland thing. We started a whole YouTube channel about it. The Star Wars thing. Yeah. But you know, it was more than that. You just seemed like a really nice person. And I remember we started talking and we quickly went to like text messages. Oh yeah, like the next day practically. And then I think we elevated that into like we were talking into all hours of the night on the phone. <laughs> I remember I was trying to get you to go on a date. And I think it took us like three weeks. Which is a normal amount no, of time. No, that's not a normal amount of time. I was scared. For the amount of like connection we had, like we were talking like all hours of the day. You guys might not know this about me because obviously like we're on YouTube or whatever, but I'm actually really shy. 
and I'm really insecure and I'm really like, I don't know, I was just really nervous. You know, meeting a new person is kind of scary. And of course I had like stalked him, like, I looked him up, I, you know, looked at all his photos, I did all the, like, stuff that people do. Or wait, did people do that? I, don't know. <laughs> I, I think I tried to invite you to, like, he, he invite like the uh, like the first screening of one of the Avengers movies on, like, the Disney lot, and you were yeah. like, I was like, no. I'm busy. <laughs> I don't think I actually even was busy, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know how it came about, but our first date ended up being Star Wars Celebration. Yeah. The year that they were debuting Star Wars The Force Awakens. Yeah, I was already planning to go uh, with one of my good friends who's also a huge Star Wars nerd. I remember I was staying at the the hotel right across the street from the Toy Story lot. What is that, the Hilton? I remember being so nervous. I was staying there with my friend Reza and Steve and Annette and I was just like freaking out because I knew I was gonna meet you on Saturday. Friday, yeah. So Friday um, you were freaking out? I remember I was part of that big panel, like... Oh yeah, I remember, I was at work. <laughs> StarWars.com had a live feed, live stream. They, they premiered the trailer of Star Wars Force Awakens and I was up there on stage with a bunch of other journalists, like breaking it down. Wasn't the year that John Boyega interrupted us? I no, think that was like in year. London or God, something. So many times you were on <laughs> yeah. the stage at Star Wars Celebration. Yes, but like <laughs> it's funny because I was on stage like doing this thing that's like broadcast worldwide and millions of people are watching, but like I'm just as shy as you. I remember waiting in the Hilton lobby mm -hmm. the morning that you were gonna come there and we we're gonna meet. This was the next day after that. Yeah, my friend Reza and Steve were on their laptops in the lobby trying to get like BlizzCon tickets or something like yeah. kind of some kind of lottery. And I was just like freaking out. I'm like, <laughs> They're like trying to calm me down. Do you have your duffy bag? You definitely had like a Ewok thing. I had Maybe. a little plush Ewok and I think he was wearing oh. Mickey ears. I think he had a duffy pin on him. Oh, okay. <laughs> So at that moment, we knew we were meant to be. No. Yeah. Can I say something? This might be embarrassing. I'm, I I'm sorry. I know what you're going to say. No, but and like, I don't know if it's I, true. I, it was true. I was so nervous to meet her. Like, I, I knew, like, we had this, like, big connection. And I was, like, freaking out. Like, big time freaking out. Couldn't sleep the night before. And then we, <laughs> when we first, like, went up to each other, I saw her. And she was kind of, like, shaking. Like, a little... I don't... You were you were nervous. When have I ever actually like physically? I don't know. You were you were nervous, but honestly, it was like the greatest thing ever because like I realized that we were both in the same boat. Like, oh yeah, you texted me because you didn't want to come over while my friends were there. Yeah, so you I was me to so get... scared. I was like, cause that's intimidating. Like meeting somebody for the first time when they're surrounded by like their friends. Like I was alone. Yeah. So our first date was at Star Wars <laughs> Celebration, and we were walking the show floor. So I was walking the show floor, and I was having this date with, with. Kitra, but also her best friend is there. So the one thing you didn't want to do is come up to my friends, and I was stuck I there on a, had, on my first date with I you. I already while, had like... plans with Christina. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't gonna like ditch her. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your first photo of me was me with Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> it's my photo where like when he calls me, like that's like my background. Still to this yeah. day, I don't know why it just is. And then I remember I had to go off because they were having the premiere of Star Wars Rebels. So yeah, those who don't know, yeah. I run a website, SlashFilm.com, which is a big movie website. So I was there covering the convention for that and yeah. did a video about that. And then I rushed back to find you and we hung out a little bit more and we went to Disneyland. So our first date is not just <laughs> Star Wars Celebration, but also Disneyland. I remember we went into Disney California Adventure and we got some margaritas. Yeah, and we walked. <laughs> I, I remember we walked. We walked and walked yeah. and walked and like, I was telling you my like whole story. We and were you just were talking. telling me your backstory. Yeah, we like didn't really have a plan. Like we were just like aimlessly walking yeah. around. And then we decided to ride a ride. And what was that first ride? If you guys saw one of our latest videos, you might know. It was Monsters Inc. It was Monsters Inc. Uh, pure, <laughs> like people have asked like, why was that your first ride? It was purely because there was no line. I remember going over to Disneyland. Mm -hmm. We were in Tomorrowland, the place, and they were teasing Tomorrowland, the movie. The Brad Bird movie. Yeah written by Damon Lindelof, and they had like an exhibit with props from the film and stuff like that. And I remember in, outside of that exhibit, they had like a concept art. Mm -hmm. And that's where we got our first photo together. It's like the worst lighting. It's like the worst first photo. It is. Cause there was nothing in the background of that photo. Like it was just us like with a blank wall. Like you would never know that we were like in Tomorrowland. 
Well, well, you are the queen of taking photos of like, we could be like in the greatest place ever. She goes into a corner and is like, here, let's take a photo in front of the wall. If I'm, <laughs> if I'm feeling cute in that moment, I need to, to document it. But it's not like with like the cool stuff I think in the I was like feeling cute like in that moment. So I'm like, okay, let's take a photo. I had a feeling <laughs> about this one. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember after the park closed, we wa I walked you back to your car. You were parked in the Toy Story lot. And I remember I... I reached in to give you a kiss. And I went. And... <laughs> she, she totally denied Wait, me. Can we... No, we're not going to re recreate that. Okay. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> I remember walking back from the Toy Story lot to my hotel, like, second guessing. Like, I just had, like, the greatest date of my life. Like, first date. <laughs> like, the greatest date, period, of my life. And I was Aww. like, this, like, I had such a connection with this, this woman. But like, does she not like me? Like, I don't, whatever. And I was like walking up to my hotel room, and I was like, maybe I got like this whole thing wrong. Oh, whatever, like no. whatever. Oh. And then you texted me, and you were like, you because you were originally gonna drive home, and you were like, no, I'm gonna drive to my friend Christina's house, stay over there, and I'm gonna come back the next day. Yeah. Uh, because I wanna hang out with, with you more. So I was like, yes, okay. Yeah. She does like me. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm just not the type of person to, I guess, kiss on a first date. No, no reason behind it. I just. Yeah. In retrospect, I probably should have just kissed you, but it's fine. I'm sorry. I think I kissed you like on our second date, so whatever. Yeah. We also have a lot of questions yeah. from you guys out there. We put it out on Instagram, and we'll we'll get to that in in just a second. But first, a message from our sponsor. <gasps> a word from our sponsor. How exciting is that? You guys, we are so so happy because today's video is brought to you by Soundcore by Anchor. Yeah, I was so happy when we were contacted by Anchor because we use their products every day. From Literally every the, single day. From the Bluetooth speaker in our shower to the plug for my MacBook Pro, their Soundcore brand of audio products provide great sound at incredible value. What? I can't hear you, these are noise canceling. Were you saying something? Yes. Oh, okay, sorry. I just gotta say that these Soundcore Q30 headphones are freaking fantastic. They're noise canceling. They're super comfortable on my ears. They're lightweight. And did I mention they're noise canceling? Cause that's honestly the best part. When I'm up there editing the videos all day, I just have these bad boys on and I'm in the zone. I can't hear anything. I can't hear Gizmo barking. I can't hear Peter yelling at me from downstairs. It's awesome. There's actually three different types of noise canceling that you can do for like any situation. So if you're on a bus, if you're on the street, you know, they got you covered. Yeah, or if you're editing YouTube videos. <laughs> How cute are these headphones? I got the baby pink and they just came out with a blue color and this case, even the case is cute. It's like a little purse. I've been using my black pair when I record my podcast slash home daily. I already have enough cords on my desk. Like there's enough clutter. So it's good that these <laughs> are true. like wireless. I could use these for 40 hours with the noise canceling on, or if I don't use noise canceling, 60 hours on one charge. That's insane. And if we were gonna bring these on a trip, it's good to know that you can charge these things for five minutes and get like a four hour charge. Yeah, that's like a plane flight. The Q30s have 40 millimeter drivers. And to be honest, I don't even know what that even means. But what I do know is that they sound awesome. They sound better than any headphones that I've used. And the cool thing about them is you could connect them to multiple devices. So say I'm editing a video, I could easily switch between editing to pick up a phone call, which is so convenient. We'll put the link in the description below if you want to get your hands on these or buy one for your loved one. Thank you for Soundcore for sponsoring <laughs> this video. Thank you. Let's now get to some viewer questions. Yeah. So I'm going to be honest. I haven't even looked at like any of the questions that have been sent in. Have I, you? I've looked at it, but I haven't really thought about them or anything like that. What was your favorite date memory for each of you during your whole relationship? So that's you know, hard. I have an answer. You do? The Tomorrowland premiere. Ah, oh, that was gonna be my answer. <laughs> We're talking about Tomorrowland some more. <laughs> yeah, we saw, we saw the premiere at Disneyland. It was actually in the AMC that's now shut it down. I remember on the blue carpet, because that blue carpet. Yeah. We like got a photo with Michael Giacchino, the composer from Lost and Up and all the Pixar movies and stuff. And, oh, Tony Baxter and Bob Gurr. Oh yeah. 
we're so excited to meet them. We, like, who cares about George Clooney? Who cares about whatever? We want to meet Tony Baxter and Michael Giacchino. <laughs> yeah, and then the cool thing about this is not only did we get to see the movie at the premiere, but then the after party was in Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland yeah. was closed down just for the party. We have a photo from Star Tours where it's or literally nobody we're the in only there. two people in there. Yeah, that's um, a good. That's a good one. Yeah, and there was. Characters around that, like, you never see. There was, like, Mickey with a spacesuit on. Okay, I'm just going to steal your answer because that's a good one. <laughs> How are you and Peter adapting to YouTube fame? Well, I think it's different for both of us because Peter kind of already had a little bit of a following before we started YouTube. We'd but, be out at, like, a movie yeah. theater or Disneyland and people would come up and, like, want to talk to me. And maybe not the photos and autographs that it is now, <laughs> but you would, like, kind of, someone would come over and you'd kind of, like... Oh well, yeah. You take like the steps back, like the people, Homer into the... People would like come up and just like me and him would be here and someone would just come in between us and like put their back to me. <laughs> and I'd just kind of like walk away, like, okay. Now they, they come up to you. Yeah, now they come up to me, which I still, to this day, I love it. I love talking to all of you. I wish I, we could hug. Um, but it still kind of like trips me out. Even when I hear someone like say my name from a distance, cause I have a very like unique name. Some days are harder than others where I dwell on like, the negative instead of the positive. Do you guys want to get married? The marriage. Oh question. wow, we're jumping right into that one, yeah. huh? Uh, well, I hate to break it to you, mom, if you're watching. Just kidding, my mom already knows. We have no plans to get married. Yeah. We're not, you know, we're happy as we are. I just like, I know so many married people that it goes from love and like a best friendship into something else. And I'm sure there's many married people that are happy and mm -hmm. you know, aren't gonna yeah. get divorced, whatever. But like, we're happy the way it is, why? Yeah, why? and we already know that we're gonna be together. Forever. forever. I don't know, we're just fine how we are. We got yeah. our two doggies and... You know, we should we should probably follow that up with the kids question because everybody oh, wants to know. No. Wow, jumping right into do, these. Do you guys want to have fire. kids? Rapid fire. Do we want to have kids? Do we? We don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't lead them on. I know. I like kids. We like yeah, kids. Yeah, kids are adorable. They're more adorable when they're not in your life 24/7. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, like, yeah. We have friends that have kids, and we get to be like the uncle and aunt to yeah. them and hang out with them at Disneyland well, and they're in normal cute. times. Yeah, and they're cute. We don't get to have to like deal with their temper tantrums. Yeah. And... That was one of the things like when we first started dating, we like made that real clear yeah. right away. The marriage thing and the kids thing. The only reason I would love to have kids is like I love movies and stuff, and I would love to like be that like father that shows their son or daughter like Star Wars and yeah. Back to the Future and all this stuff. I feel like that's not the reason to have kids is to like have <laughs> this first, this <laughs> little kidding. thing that you're gonna like, you know, yeah. mold into the the thing, you know, to like all the things that you the like. The thing that you're gonna mold into the thing. <laughs> Couldn't yeah. have said it more eloquently myself. I like, I'm, I'm a dog mom. <laughs> I know that's like so lame. Yeah. Like I'm such a millennial, like my avocado toast and like my Pomeranian, but like, I like my dogs. I like buying gizmo <laughs> things, pixel things. Is that lame? No. They're like our children, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been together? Um, this year is going to be six years, if I'm doing my math correctly. I'm this really, year I'm really bad at like dates and numbers and stuff. I'll tell you this, on my phone, I actually oh, have... Yeah, he's. you started doing this very early on when we were dating. Yeah, I have this thing, actually has two countdowns right now. It has Kitra. <laughs> We've been together as of this recording, 2,132 days and 10 hours. Wow. And quarantine, which has been 300, or the pandemic, since we like, it yeah. kind of hit us, is 329 days. Wow. Who is the bigger completionist collector? Gotta have the whole set. Really? Yeah? You were gonna say me? Yeah, like you just bought like almost all the new emos. I thought you, like, you could just have like one or two. Listen, once I saw how cute they were, I needed all of, I don't have Angel, so I don't have all of them, <laughs> but I am thinking about getting Angel. Yeah. But no, you! I do have a problem collecting things, like that's why I don't buy Funko Pops, because if I started buying them, I'd have to have like every single one in the Star Wars collection, which would be... Yeah. I guess you kind of control yourself because you do have that problem. So like you've gotten to a point in your life where like you know better. <laughs> yeah. But... I still think it's you. 
what is your biggest disagreement normally about? We both are very like stubborn. <laughs> Stubborn, but no, but like we're also like B personalities in that like we're not we're not alpha personalities. It's like hard to get us to like decide. <laughs> oh my god, on we things. are B personalities. That's so true. I never even thought about it that way. I'll become the alpha. Is that what you want? <laughs> well, like we'll, we'll spend two hours trying to decide like where to eat, order food or something like that. Yeah, and it's like it's we just bad. can't. Yeah, it'll be like, what do you want to do? I don't know. You decide. No, you decide. I'm gonna let you decide. And then we always end it with, no, I'm gonna let you decide. And then we sit around for hours with nobody deciding anything. Did Kitra read Slash Home before meeting Peter? I did not. You knew about it. I knew about it. I think I knew about like your Twitter handle, but I didn't know like what Slash Home, I didn't know it was like a website. Has your partner ever bought something that you thought was totally ridiculous? No, I don't. I, don't. I pretty much support everything Peter buys. like. First of all, it's his money, so he could spend it however he wants to, and if you if it's something that makes him happy. Now, we're both really supportive with that sort of thing, which yeah. is either a good thing or a bad thing. It's probably a bad thing, because we, we have nobody to tell each other now. Yeah, but I like, also think like that becomes like a problem in relationships when like you hold it over, like, you know, you shouldn't be spending that yeah. money, like, and then it's like... I think that's why we go well together. Yeah. Like I said, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. You guys know from our videos, like it's always like, should I get this? And Peter's like, yeah. And I'm like, don't tell me that because I will buy 15 new emos. And then I did. Who would play Peter and Kitra in your biopic? I think this is easy. For me? For, well, for both. I, I would say like Steve Carell and Aubrey Plaza. Oh my God, I was gonna say Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. I was gonna say like Chris Hemsworth. I'm Chris Hemsworth? Yeah, to me. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Name the thing that you love the most about each other. Um, I love how, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, let me think, hold on. I was gonna say something, but it sounds like fake or like generic, but I just, I love how caring you are. Like you're just a really genuine, like nice, good hearted person. I love how much you like, love weird quirky like you love you love animals like you you love i don't know this sounds really this is like bad but like i just love that you find enjoyment out of like the weirdest like like <laughs> great olus or duffies yeah. or like the i love the way you love things Aww. besides disney what is your favorite date night i got i got the answer for this one okay magic castle <laughs> no, I don't think you want to Movie go. theater? I was going to say Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> cheesecake Factory, that's true. Yeah. Just go to like the Grove and go to the Cheesecake Factory. We, we are simple people. Yeah. We love simple things. We don't have that many chain restaurants where we live. So like when we get to go to a chain restaurant, it's like exciting for us. No? So what, what would be your favorite date night? Is it Cheesecake Factory or something else? Well, I was going to say back when we had like the AMC um, movie theater pass whatever that was called i don't even remember opening up our phone and just like going to see a movie because there's a movie theater like right down the street yeah. and like a movie that like we would have never probably gone to see in a theater otherwise just being like okay let's go see it yeah we're no longer on the a-list we're now on the b-list what is your biggest pet peeve that the other person does wait wait i don't want to know before you answer this take your pad of paper here You're i don't want to know because i have so a few for you, and I have no idea what mine are of yours. But okay. you should know you, you, what mine you, are yeah. of yours. You write them. The, number one of for me, and I'll I'll write it down for your, the the one that you're gonna say. Yep, nail biting. <laughs> Bites nails. Yeah, I like like to. I don't know. Especially during coronavirus, like I'm like, don't stick your fingers in your mouth. I I I've been I've gotten better at it. A lot of things she's annoyed by me. She is like the same offender of, and she doesn't realize it. Like, like she get, gets annoyed like when I eat chips, like I'm chewing chips. Like I don't know. If she, I she's... have that thing. I forget what it's called, <laughs> but that it's a real condition. But you do the same thing. Like when you're chewing chips, like you're like obnoxiously chewing. Like no, it's I'm like not. loudly chewing. Yeah. No, I'm not. Here you are. Okay, take another piece of paper, and uh, you're gonna write what you think I'm gonna say. I don't know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Reveal. Quiet, really? Yeah, you, like, okay. He wrote down quiet treatment, I wrote down talking baby talk to Gizmo and Pixel. Well, that is annoying too. She goes like overboard. 
overboard. Like you, you guys have he's no idea. Small. He is my kid's mom. Okay. And I love him. See, he responded. Yeah. Good boy. I think when we get into any kind of disagreement or argument, I'm like the communicator. I want to like communicate and like get to the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. And Kitra will just she shuts down and she just like leaves her. Yeah, I need to get away. Like I she need... doesn't want to communicate. She doesn't want to resolve no. the issue. She just I like... just want to put a pin in it. Like I'll yell from the other room. It's like. Yeah, and, and are just, you okay? And she just like ignores yeah, me. Yeah, I just, you're right, I do do that, even when we're not arguing. Yeah, it's annoying. Anyways, I think we've gone through enough questions. Oh man, we should have done all the questions like this. Thank you again to Soundcore by yeah. Anchor. Thank you so much. And How freaking cool is it that we get to rock these new headphones? Yeah, let us know in the comments below you know, what you think of like our answers. Is there anything that surprised you? Is there anything? That we didn't, like that we missed? Yeah. Because we could always do a part two eventually. Yeah, someday, one day. I want to do a part two, like all like this. Like that was the fun part. Oh yeah, we should do. Rapid fire. Thanks for watching guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.